the next test is ductility test so what is ductility ability to be drawn in terms of wires right how much you can you can take the tensile loads so why it is important so what happens let's say this is a pavement structure and the vehicle goes on the surface layer which is mainly a vitreous layer so every point there is the vehicle goes it will pull the bitumen and again when the vehicle passes the particular point it will contract back the bitumen will contract back this is happening repeatedly as in when the vehicle starts moving on the road so since this is basically pulling the bitumen and again it is allowing the contract it which can have sufficient tensile strength which are undergoing cracking if this bitumen undergoes cracking later we will see potholes and other distresses so to check this particular property we conduct ductility test this will indicate how how much tensile uh, strength the bitumen can take or how how much it can uh, be pulled without undergoing any break so for this particular ductility test we prepare something called as ductility briquette we call it as briquette so the particular ductility uh, briquette this one see here this the particular shape is there here we will pour the bitumen in this briquette and allow it to condition now this test is conducted at 27 degrees right so what we basically will do here there are two pins you can see in the ductility machine the one pin will get fixed the other pin will be pulled when we start pulling this particular sample this will be fixed this will start pulling so what happens it starts start slowly extending so as it is start pulling and pulling uh, at a particular constant speed then it is drawn a small wire at some point this there will be break at the center so wherever it breaks report it as ductility value ductility value so if we have a higher level ductility then it can take more tensile loads if it is very low then it is very stiff it will break very easily without carrying any tensile loads so in this way we will classify the bitumen based on ductility test just pour the bitumen into the bracket mold After that, cool it in air for 30 to 40 minutes. Then place the specimen in water bath, maintain it 27 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, scrap the excess bitumen and again place it in water bath for another 90 minutes. After 90 minutes, remove the side plates and bottom plates. Then place the bracket mold. After removing the side plates. in the ductility testing machine and screw it here okay now we have started the ductility testing machine so this has started from zero and it's moving we will note down the reading when this breaks when the specimen breaks that will become a thread and breaks at some point so we will note the corresponding reading here and that is the ductility value Actually, the cooling rate of the machine is 50 mm per minute. The temperature of ductometer is maintained at 27 degrees Celsius. Now the thread has broken, so corresponding reading is 80.5. So our ductility value is 